As I'm sitting here in this chair, it was as clear as you could see that rectangular brick in the bottom of that back. I was instantly angry because I knew that Chike had lied. It's going to make it invisible. I actually felt a little woozy because all my worst fears had just come true. It was crystal clear. There was nothing that looked even remotely like it wasn't a big brick in the bottom of your bag. All of a sudden, I see three Thai gentlemen walking towards me. Hi. And he said, Is this your bag? And I said, yes. Yes, it is. Did you pack it by yourself this morning? Right away when he asked me that, I thought that might be my one chance to somehow get out of it. And I said, no, no actually, I didn't. My friend packed it for me. Oh, OK. Can you come with me? I don't even know how to describe the feeling that came over me, but I knew that this was going to be really, really bad. And I see this wall that has 30 to 60 Polaroid pictures of various women sitting there with some sort of drugs cut open in front of them. It was like the wall of shame. And they take everything out of the leather bag and they just slice it right open. At that point, I was like, oh, wow. This is not something that's going to go away. And you see the powder sort of spilling out over the edge. What's this? I said, I don't know. What is that? I told you I didn't pack my bag this morning. And they pull out this test kit. They take a scoop of the, the powder. And it turns purple. And he said, ah, oh, heroin. You like? And I said, no, I, what are you talking about? Do I look like I use heroin? And I held my arms out. <laughs> he just thinks this is hilarious. <laughs> he looks at me and he said, You die. You die. You die. <laughs> And it's starting to hit me. Where are all these women now? Are they dead? I knew that in Singapore, they'll, they'll kill you for smuggling drugs. <laughs>